Hey guys, I'm gonna do uh, something I don't normally do, and it's a bit of foraging today. So I said before I get out to the beach, I'm gonna show you what I bring with me. Most important on a really hot day, sun cream. Uh, we all know the dangers of the sun. Hat, keep the sun off your head. And uh, I'm gonna bring some wellies with me because the area is kind of a bit rocky in places. I'm also gonna bring my pike so I can get a bit of bait for the fishing. Uh, a bucket, vitally important for all your foraging. And this one has a handy little lid so you can divide the stuff. Some things you want to eat, some things you might want to just keep to have a look at. And it's nice to be able to divide them. Now the other thing I bring is cool box. So if I'm going to stay for a while, I can put the shellfish and things into the cool box and keep them nice and safe from the sun. So that's the stuff I'm going to bring with me foraging and I hope you enjoy the show. Oh, he's just gone down. <laughs> I have a hold of him. And the trick is, if you get him like this, nice and gentle pressure. Because if you push, if you pull it, you'll pull the fish in half. So nice and gentle pressure, and he'll get him out. Ah, oh, Bear grills eat your heart out. <laughs> there you go. See, look, that's his siphon at the bottom. Survivalist by survivalist. These are the other ones that have uh, have come out. Tide's pushing in on me now, so I just gather these quickly. Looks like we're going to have a nice little bit for a cook up today. Now guys, every so often when you're out on these big spring tides, you come across something crazy. And look what I've come across. I think it's like a, it looks like a ragworm crossed with a lugworm, crossed with a tube worm. It's quite long. Lay down in the water there. Keeps curling up in the water like a lugworm would. Crazy. It's these things that you find in the low water marks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him back into his little burrow, cover him up again. In this area, when the tide starts to push, it's important that you get the razor fish first, as they are on the outer banks you'll have a lot more time to pick mussels and the other shellfish that live in amongst the rocks. But it's very important to get your razor fish done first. My mother and father really like periwinkles. Not too sure about uh, my wife's mother and father, but this is where you come in then to get these in amongst the rocks. You can see a couple of big ones there. Um, not very plentiful in this area, but there's a few here. So I'm gonna gather a couple. It's gonna be a nice cook up, I think. Here guys, a tiny, tiny little edible brown crab, but unfortunately, survival, he didn't make it. So, we've got a few winkles picked now, 
Uh, I'm going to try to get a couple more because there is more than one going to have in each of it. But this rock looks like it'll move. So, we may be in for a treat with the GoPro and stand for us. Could be nothing, could be something. We'll find out here. Oh, we have a little butterfish. Just see him there moving? Try to capture him and show it to you. There you go, guys. Just still recording. Tiny little butterfish living under the rocks. Hope you'll be able to see him. Lovely little pattern on him. We're not going to miss it. No. Oh, there you go. Back in. And the, the important thing, whenever you move a rock, make sure you put it back in the right position. So I've just moved that little rock. Ow. <laughs> this little rock. And there you go. A tiny little edible crab. He's giving me a little pinch there and it really hurt. So that'll just tell you, the big ones will do a lot of damage. Look at him. Posturing up. I'll put him back amongst the rocks. But I saw a really cool one under here. Oh, let's see, can I get him for you? Ow. Now he's got a sharp bite. Ow. Really cool little guy. Not too sure what he is. I must really do some research on these. I'm gonna get a couple of photos of them. See what they are. Adventure. Probably the best picture of the day of the oyster sitting proud up on top of the rock. He'll get nice and big. I think they said it filters something like 98 litres of water or something a day. Mad stuff. I'll have to check that out again, that fact. There you go, a few winkles alongside him too. Now, tide's starting to come in, so nearly time for home for me. Here we go, down right in the corner of the rock pool. This little guy is living, filtering away. See his tentacles out there now. Very cool little creatures, filter feeders. So that means they take the food out of the uh, water as it passes them by. Another guy here just waiting for the tide to come in. Get his dinner. Another couple here. Kind of bristly fellas. Oh. And the thing about these rocks are, they are sharp. All these little growths on them, limpets and things. Like you can see my hand there from leaning on it. So, very cool though. Now, here we go guys. It's what I was hoping to find. I'm gonna have to kind of turn it sideways, sorry now. It's a, I think they're called the Queenie Oyster. But you can see all these little bits, a bit dark inside there. But obviously they're, they're growing out from where the tide is, is hitting hard. So they're safe. All these little rocks and crevices, they might hold a lobster someday. We might be back for one of them. Bigger bucket though, bigger bucket. We've got some um, some lovely razors already. That looks like a crevice that a lobster might live in on another day. So we'll come along here, get some mussels. These are nice and high up. So they'll be filtering the water and not so much the, the sand. But uh, so as you can see, there's some good sized ones. So we'll pick off a few of the better ones and uh, this will really get us going for the seafood. See how high up that's uh, I wish I was taller. That's at head height for me, about five foot nine, unfortunately. Um, so we're gonna gather a few of these. See them there. Nice, good sized mussel. You can scratch off these things after. I'll show you when we're preparing them. Just gotta get, uh, get a few more off this rock now, because it's a good spot. Okay, guys. Ugh. Finished up our uh, foraging, it's gone fantastically well. And we've got the three things we wanted. Um, we would have liked some more cockles, but I only came across one or two that were sizable, so I didn't keep them. But I did keep a couple of shells. So, mussels, some periwinkles to keep the, the mom and dad happy, and some razor fish. I also collected a bit of the sea lettuce to go with it as well. So, can't wait to get this back and cooked up and uh, get the family around. So this is what it's all about. Come out and collect it all by yourself. A nice bass now will go well with it too.
And now, after all the hard work, you get to enjoy the fruits of the labour. Mosses, razors, the whole lot, in with family, can't beat it. Yeah, new thing coming. This is what it's all about. The fruits of your labour, with your family and your loved ones, and uh, a few tricks to go with it. Stay safe everyone, and treasure those loved ones. See you again soon.